me a little bit about what it is that uh, that you do in Japan? Okay, well, um, I teach English at uh, junior high school. Uh, I, I travel around to four uh, junior high schools in the town where I work. The, the town where I work is spelled W-A-T-A-R-I, Watari. And how affected was that town by the earthquake and tsunami? Um, I'm going to say it wasn't, mm, for the most part, from what I, uh, the, the, the explanation, explanation I'd gotten from my girlfriend, the worst part of the tsunami did not hit. It, but it, from the pictures that I sent you, one junior high school, yes, was hit very badly. Uh, from wh what I saw in that picture, uh, definitely the, the teacher's room was, uh, was, you know, destroyed. Very, very badly damaged. Uh, they, pro so I'm thinking probably the students in the junior high school, from the picture in the picture that I sent to you, probably went up to the second or third floor to get away from the tsunami. Uh, luckily, and also what was it? Uh, a, a small boat had <laughs> floated into. I mean, I kind of laugh, but I mean, I'm not not because it's funny. It's just maybe the image is funny, and uh, it's also probably laughing because I'm kind of amazed that. Nobody actually from the high, from the junior high school died, you know that they all survived that, and that they're okay. So, um, so that part, Watari, Watari is 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 actually along the coast. But I guess because maybe, I don't know, maybe the geography kind of maybe protected it. So the worst parts did not hit, but it was still the junior high school was affected. But other junior other teachers at other junior high schools that I had talked to said, well. Everybody's okay. The only the only problem is, is that the floor is muddy. So I mean, <laughs> I'll take that any day. Yeah. You know, it it escaped the worst parts of it, I think. So then, tell me about what you were doing and where you were when the quake hit. Okay. Well, what I was doing that day, I was walking. Sound cliche? I was walking down the street. Um, to provide even a little bit more detail, we had just come out of a kind of a hundred. It would be kind of like a 99 cent store back home, um, and we were walk. We just crossed the street when the lake, and we were on our way to near the near Sendai Station because my girlfriend wanted to get her, her hair cut and things like and other things before we went on a, a bus trip to Tokyo. Well, this the quake hit about. I mean, I could look at this online, but not right now. Uh, about 2:48, and of course, in Miyagi prefectures. You know, since I'd come about three years ago, um, you get used to the small shakings and rumblings. After a while, you think, okay, it, it, okay, give it about 15 to 20 seconds, it'll die down, and we'll get back on with our lives. And so, initially, when I saw things starting to shake, I thought, okay, yeah, it looks a little scary here, but give it 15, 20 seconds, it'll die down. Well, as now the world knows, this is it, this lasted for about two to three minutes, and when that happened. And I thought, okay, this is going to last longer. I think my girlfriend and I probably looked at each other and said, okay, uh, okay, there's a, a a young man and his mother over there. Let's go. And there was an, another young couple too. So there were four people under this, uh, I guess you want to say, the ceiling in front of this men's store. And so we said, well, well, that looks safe, and he, he looks nice. So <laughs> we'll join we'll join him and the, and the two other couples and. Yeah, I mean, I, I but when it lasted for two to three minutes, I think we were all pretty scared. You know, it looked like I thought the ceiling was bouncing up and down, and I thought, uh oh, this, this is this is it. <laughs> Better say my prayers. It's 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 over. Yeah. We were very close to it. Okay, we were very close to the street. So once it died down, then we could. My girlfriend had the idea. Okay, well. The, sh the shaking has stopped. Let's get out, just <laughs> in case anything, you know, the ceiling of the, the enclosed archway, we were walking under falls and blocks us from getting out. So that's when we, we made our run into the street. By itself, a lot of the buildings were, were okay, they were intact. Uh, well, Sendai, let's see, there's, there's a, at least four wards. And I can only speak from the ward that I'm in because it's the, it's the main part of Sendai, the you know the the heart of Sendai. The um, that the buildings were pretty much intact, 
But if, from what the images that you'd seen on TV, uh, definitely yes. Uh, that that that's along the coast and where you have a lot of uh, the fishing industry, uh, a lot of people who rely on the sea for their for their livelihood. Yes, those are very badly hit. So. And then, so uh, why did you leave the area? Well, I left the area uh, due to concerns. Uh, at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Um, I, I wasn't sure whether the situation was going to get better or worse. I was prepared to stick it out because I didn't want to leave my girlfriend there. And um, the people in our neighborhood had been, had been taking very good care of us. And I didn't want to abandon them either. But I got, <laughs> sorry, mom. I got a lot of pressure from her to get out of the area because she was watching probably Fox News and they were probably uh, sensationalizing it a bit. And so that probably created a scare in people back home. So, um, yes, the radiation level had, from what I've read, has risen a little bit in Sendai, but it, it's still within acceptable levels. So I will be making my way back eventually. 